All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new scripting tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about Surface GUIs. Now, as you can see over here, this is a Surface GUI. <laughs> um, that's what they are, but I'm going to make it from scratch. Anyways, uh, first things first, make sure if you haven't watched my beginners, or my, not my beginner series, if you haven't watched the first tutorial on this series and you have no experience with GUIs, you may want to watch that first. This is an entire series about GUIs and how to use them, even if you've never used them before, so yeah. Also, I realize I never explained what GUI means. It stands for uh, Graphical User Interface, but it doesn't really matter what it stands for. But yeah, I, someone commented that, and I was like, wait a minute, I never explained that. So yeah, sorry, that's my bad. But <laughs> um, anyways, all right, first things first, a Surface GUI. It's just a GUI, but on a Surface, okay? That's what it is. Simple as that, nothing else to it, okay? Um, so we're going to go ahead and add a part in here, and then I'm going to make it that size, I guess, and I'll add a Surface GUI. And then I can add a button. All right. And now I have my Surface GUI and my button. Okay. But as you can see, where's the Surface GUI? I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. Um, now, sometimes you might not want it on that side. So what you do is you go to your face right here and you can change that to back right there. Now we have it on the back, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah. And, um, Okay, so another thing I want to show you guys with Surface GUIs is make sure they're adornied, okay? So if you guys don't know how adornies work, it's basically where it's going to show. So if I move that out of the out of the part, right, um, it'll be in the workspace and it won't show anywhere. But if I adorn it there, it'll show, okay? But basically, you need to make sure you're adorning because you won't have you won't be able to have interactive UI if it's not adornied. So yeah, make sure you do that. Okay, well, another thing about Surface GUIs is. Um, for example, let's say I wanted this text button to be able to click. Like I said, you need to make sure it's the door need. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scale this uh, size to just one on each axis. Alrighty, there we go. And now I'll go ahead and make some text on here, make it look all nice and pretty. Um, there we go. This is a surface. GUI and boom, that's it. That's simple, right? And um, sometimes you might want it bigger, right? Like for example, right now it's it like as you can see the Surface GUI, right? As you can see, um, if I type Surface GUI right now, um, it's kind of small. Like it, what, let's say you want it to fit as big as it can proportionally, right? Well, how you would do that is there's a few things you can do. Okay, so first you can grab like the position, the size of your part, okay, and scale it down. Um, or, or what you could do, what some people do, and probably not the best way to do it, but they they, they they make another part and then scale it out. So wait, no, no, sorry. Duplicate their part right here and then scale it out. Wait, where did that go? Oh, I think it's inside of that. Um, I'm going to put that in there, my bad. Okay, anyways, they duplicate their part and then they scale it out, which is not what you want to do. Don't do this. But... It actually still doesn't work. Wait, never mind. It doesn't work still. But as you can see what I'm saying, right? It's 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 super small. You can't even like it's not fitting up the whole thing at all like we wanted to. So what we can do is we can go to our surface GUI, okay? And then we can you see right here it says pixels per stud. So basically this means if you do some math, um it means like the size. So you if you make it smaller, it'll actually add more pixels, right? Um, well, actually, it'll add less, but it'll make it'll look bigger. So, like for example, if I go down to 40, it looks bigger. If I go down to 25, it looks bigger. If I go down to one, it looks like trash. But you see what it's doing? It's making a bunch of pixels, and it's it's putting them. Okay, but okay, okay. Wait, wait. The reason why it looks so trash, right? Okay, okay. Is <laughs> because look. Okay, there, this is okay, you can even see the studs. One stud here. One stud here. One stud here, one stud here, one stud here. Right? It's, it's hard to see, but you can court, you can sort of see it. And it's if there's only one pixel per stud, it can't make a good shape. So that's why it looks like like nasty, right? So the higher it is, the better the better res you're gonna get. But also, um, you know, the smaller it'll be because by default it's scale down. But like if I go ahead and do 600, it's gonna be tiny, 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 tiny. But I mean, there's no no fading at all. It's clear quality, as you can see, right? It looks it looks beautiful, okay. Um, but if I change it to 25, it's big, but it, it it's starting to get a little frizzy along the edges, right? 
Um, but also it depends how close you are. So if you're far away, it, it won't matter. Anyways, um, you can also change the sizing mode of this to fixed size. And what that does is it actually changes sizes like just like that. So I can go ahead and actually change it on the X and Y axis. So I can do 400 on the X. All right, and now as you can see, there's only 400 on the X. Okay, so basically also how this works, wait, let me show you something. Um, sorry. Okay. Right now it's on two. Okay. Okay. All right. So the I'm sorry. No, it's not on two. All right. The surface GUI on the on the Y axis is about six hundred. Wait a minute. I'm okay. All right. Never mind. Forget that part. Okay. Anyways, but as you can see, you can change this part up here a decent amount. Now, honestly, I don't even know why I'm messing with this right now. This might be confusing you. But if you want to mess with this, you can. Right. Um. But you might not want to as well. I don't know, um, but for the most part, you could probably figure stuff out just by um, making your GUI even bigger or doing this if you wanted to be bigger. Also, another property I want to explain too before I'm finished messing with this one. Wait, what is? Okay, so the lower, as you can see, it stretches it out. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I I don't I don't even know to be honest with you. Um, but I, I used the, the pixels per stud it's for savages. As you can, see, you can even see the absolute size there, but this basically makes it customizable. So the absolute size when it's pixels per stud like that, it's 12, 1, 2, 2, 5, 500. So actually we'll try that. So 1, 2, 2, 5, 500. And now it looks just like that because we just copied it. Right? And basically it just lets you change the size. That's all it does. I don't know why I'm showing it for that long. Okay. Anyways. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is, um, I'm gonna teach you what this one does. So as you can see here, we have something called tool punch through distance. Um, tool punch through distance, basically what it means is, if you have a tool equipped, okay? If I have a tool equipped, and this is a text button, and I wanna click this, if it's, if it's set to zero, and you have a tool equipped, you won't be able to click it. You have to unequip your tool, and then click it, and then it'll count as a click, or like, you know, like it'll be interactive. But, if it's set to something like 15, if you're within 15 studs away from it, so you're pretty close, like within 15 studs, you'll be able to click it and your tool won't activate. Instead, this will activate, right? That's how that works. So if that makes any sense, you probably won't use that one ever, honestly, either. Um, maybe you actually will. That's actually kind of useful, but it's just one of those things. If you want to look more in depth than that, you can. But basically, it's just how close you are, um, how cl uh, what the distance should be if you wanted to overwrite your tool and instead count as a click on the GUI. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, also, I forgot, I realized I, for, I realized I forgot to show you guys the, um, the what uh, always on top means. But always on top, as you can see, what, it, what it's doing is it's making this brighter because it's, it's a pure white, the background, right? Um, so it's just not really merging with it like, it like it was before. But as you can see, like, right, that if, if you normally look at a, um, uh, at the GUI, it has a white background, right? But as you can see here, for the screen GUI, always on top, um, what, what's happening is um, it's it, it's showing all of it, which is the background of this. So I set this to one. You know, see, it fades. I, I can I can do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm making no sense. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, also, but I forgot to show you guys what always on top is on the billboard GUI. But on the billboard GUI, all it is is it just makes it so it goes over the part. It's just always on top of the part. So yeah. Um, this isn't really related to this video, but that's what that is. If if you didn't realize that, anyways, that's pretty much it, though. Like that's not there's not really much left to say about that. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, like always, leave a like and subscribe. I have an awesome idea, and we're gonna do it together in our next video, um, probably. Yeah. Um. So yeah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, like always, leave a like, subscribe, and use code TAP when buying Robux in the Robux store. And anyways, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.